I just want to briefly show the the monthly chart just to point out the importance of the of the 2018 high of one spot 397 let's say 1.40 you'll see that over the previous six months we've had five of those months we have failed to close above after attempting to go above we had only one monthly close above and that was may and just of note we did see a significant reversal from the highs but we did close above so this level brought it up in the past remains really a critical issue for for cardano at this point it's governing how prices move and it's determining which if there's going to be an uptrend or if there's going to be a reversal we tr we move lower going forward on the daily chart um, actually i'm going to start with the six hour chart on the six hour chart we have an attempt to to come out of a symmetrical triangle here uh, let's say yesterday with this this bar where we closed above the upper trend line but once again we ran into the resistance of the 2018 high of one spot 40 uh, it's it is a possibility that this continues you know if we come back and test test the trend line that you know that's bullish and positive but if we we see a daily close below here obviously we're probably going to revert back down but one of the things that is interesting about the on the six hour chart is is that we are getting a golden cross which actually is a rare event even on a six hour chart and the last one that we had was back in november before the 2000 plus advance into the 2021 high so there's there are precedent for big moves coming out of this it's not not a minor development so it's taking place while we do have this breakup from the symmetrical triangle so there may be something bullish developing there on the upside really you have to get a close above this high here which is one spot four nine from july 4th we get a close above there then i think that the probabilities get raised to at least a neutral look if not positive and we can see a move up into this area here which corresponds to the june 3rd high at one spot eight nine and the may 21st high at one spot eight nine as well that would give us an approximate move of about twenty eight percent from this from this high from July July fourth at one spot four nine. So I wouldn't be touching it if you wanted to go long until you see a daily close above that high. On the downside, really, you know, I see we have the fifty day simple moving average, which is support uh, at one spot two nine, and then you have the two hundred day quickly below a one spot two three. So there's really a lot of support that's coming in behind it. So once again, we're seeing seeing a situation where prices are, are, are tightening around and we could probably be looking at some type of major move coming out of this in, in the near term. At this point though, you know, it has really been, a, it's been about a 30% advance, probably been one of the more difficult 30% advances. You'll notice the interday swings have been, have been notable on many days. So it has tried, tried the patience of many to get that 30%. And until that, we fracture from that resistance and the magnet effect of the 2018 high, the price action will remain the same. That's it. Okay. I think I'm gonna, okay, uh, the, the golden horse that I mentioned there was really interesting because if it was lasted in November, I think uh, big moves are really on its way. But for me, from a shorter time frame perspective, I don't see any big moves happening. Uh, and the reason for that, I think we discussed something similar in a, the last time, last session we did the Cardano thing. Uh, so for me, the supply zone here that ranges from 1.44 to approximately 1.5 is really crucial. So anything beyond this would be bullish uh, in a sense, but it wouldn't necessarily trigger massive moves. Because I think uh, you can see a similar, some kind of pattern here where like we saw huge moves, which uh, kind of got crushed or maybe capped. And then the moves started getting a little lower. And then it's it's been happening here. I think this run up here kind of uh, reminds me of what, what Dogecoin is doing right now. Massive runs, uh, massive upswings. 
which kind of get immediately undone and then a slow and a steady strut up, upwards. Uh, although it's leaning upwards and it, it seems it's bullish, I think uh, Palano is kind of running on fumes right now. Uh, and the fact that we haven't already tested or dipped into this particular supply zone here is, adds more to the fact that uh, we are due for a retracement right now. Uh, as for the downside, I do not want Cardano going down below 1.2 level here. Still, anything below 50 would kind of indicate that the trend has shifted uh, a little bit favoring the bears. But yeah, uh, apart from that, I think this is what we discussed last time. The There's a descending triangle that's being formed here and we've kind of broken, broken above it. But still, the, the resistance levels here are really crucial. Anything above this, also we still uh, get a move to 1.16, which is the range high. And still, uh, we're gonna see a lot of congestion. Uh, over here. So expect a lot of sideways movement for Cardano, at least from uh, for me. That's what I'm looking at for Cardano. I don't see massive moves happening anytime soon for Cardano. Yeah, that's about it.